Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So today I'm working on the uh, grow tent and all the GPUs that are inside of it, or I should say the rigs that are inside of it. And you know, I've got the three in there. I've been doing some uh, swapping of some cards, moving around a little bit, and I've had better results. Also been fine tuning a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that. Now you remember when I uh, first crossed over and got one giga hash, I was right here, I was at 1006. So now I am running at 1,020. So I did increase by about 12, uh, 14 mega hash. Uh, for any of the power settings that I had previously, I um, went up about 10, uh, 10 watts on the uh, power. Now I know that that translates different to the wall. I'm only using Hive, so I know those numbers are different. But nonetheless, the only increases I really did was a little bit to the overclocking. And as far as it went for any of the power, I increased uh, by 10. So uh, we'll just hop over and I'll just show you what I got. First, I'll start with the four GPU, technically five GPU rig. Um, that's that one uh, A4000 that I put in there. Uh, originally, it was just those. Now, um, this one here was running at 29, almost 30. Uh, so since I've swapped it, it has uh, come up a little bit. This one uh, has always run a little bit uh, slower. I've never been able to get it to go up any higher. Uh, so I might swap that and put it over here because when this one was running cooler, uh, it did run a little uh, better. So, but what I mainly did was move the A4000. Now inside the uh, grow tent, I've got one uh, frame right here by this window. There's a little window cut out and uh, I have one rig right next to it. So the, uh, the vent is on this side and the cards go across like this. So um, what I did was I moved that A4000 to the front right in front of where the uh, the vent is on the side. So the initial cool air coming in hits that A4000 right off the bat and keeps it cooler. It was running at, uh, now I've got the memory temp in here too, but it was running at um, about 70 all the time. And I also had to have it lower. I was running it probably around, I don't know what I had it running out, 56, something like that, 57 maybe, uh, mega hash. So it was lower also. Uh, by moving it closer to the cool air coming in because it is the hottest running card, um, I was able to increase it back up to what it should be. Uh, 61, 62 is a good number, I believe, for these cards. And I'm at 61.87, so I'm almost at the 62s, which my, you know, really my top number, I think, that these should really run at. But, you know, pretty good right there. Uh, this one, because I know it will run a little bit better, as you can see, this one is pretty cool back over here. Um, that's at the furthest point. So I'm going to swap those two because I know that one's not going to get much above 27 anyway. Uh, I'm going to move that other uh, RX 480, this one here, and I'm just going to swap those two around. And then that way, that one will jump back up. I'll probably gain about two more mega hash out of that. You know, it's not a lot, but, you know, I look at it like a change jar, you know. When you start throwing a little change in there, you can hear it hit the bottom, you know. Uh, but eventually all you hear is hit other coins and eventually it's half full and you're like, you know, wow, look at that. Um, and it's the same idea here, you know, yeah, it's two mega hash, but you just throw it on the pile and at the end of the day, you look with what you ended up with and uh, maybe it's a little bit more money. So uh, anyway, let's go back and we'll do the, uh, we'll do the 3060 first here. Now 3060, okay, so these should be running around 50 mega hash with the new LHR on lock. And unfortunately, and by the way, I'm using T-Rex, uh, I'm using two miners, and on two miners, I'm being uh, paid out in Bitcoin. I'd rather go in that direction. And I'll show you that when we talk about pools in a second. Uh, but uh, these should be running around 50. And the problem again is that I'm in the grow tent. And if you look at some of my temperatures, they're a little cool right now, um, but we aren't really at the hottest part of the day. And typically the AC upstairs will uh, go up a little bit warmer because um, we're really not upstairs during the day so there's no really reason to run the AC at full blast so it does get warmer up here now I'm home today so it's a little bit lower because I'm here uh, so these are cooler but you could probably uh, throw these up another two to three three degrees uh, typically so a 64 is gonna be more like a 67 and you know this one here for instance that one's easily up at 70 uh, they are running reasonably cool right now you can see I was doing some stuff earlier um, but Nonetheless, uh, I'm kind of stuck. Again, my grow tent is is not vertical, all right, where you have all your GPUs and the air being sucked right out the top. Um, mine, it's uh, it's 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 horizontal, uh, so it's lying on the on the floor this way, and I have all my vents on one side, and the uh, 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 I'm sorry, the vent over here uh, pulling the air out 
and then this side is where all the inner air intake is so it's coming across and being sucked out so it's going across all the cards so the cards that are at the far end are getting a lot more heat because everything is passing by them the ones near the front of it are a little bit better so it's again it's it's just the way it is it's the way that i have a setup i unfortunately can't have it vertical in this room um, i could but it would block the window uh, and right now that's the you know the only window in the room not that i say right now like i'm putting another window in it is the only window in the room forever most likely and i can't really do much about that so if i put the grow tent here it would block that window completely it'd make it a lot darker in this room and well that's that so Unfortunately, for now, it's lying down. Eventually, if I got, uh, let's say, another eight-card ring in there, I might be able to justify uh, really transforming this room into something more. But right now, this is what I got. I got two six-inch fans. They probably should be eight-inch fans, except the eight-inch fans are so loud. Uh, two six-inch fans are more quiet than one eight-inch fan. I uh, bought the same model. I actually bought two different models for the 8-inch fan to see if there's any difference. Uh, just testing that out. Didn't matter. Both super loud. Uh, these here, you know, if I have one 6-inch fan running and I add a second one that I did, the sound is almost not noticeable in difference uh, with the second one running. You barely can even tell that there's two running. So I've even debated putting a third in there and adding more ventilation to the back. Um, maybe put one near the front and have it suck from that side and have it laying on top of the grow tent and then coming out i'm really trying not to have too many uh duct works laying all over the place i tried to keep it as clean as i can so it looks decent uh, when you walk into the room I don't, I don't even know what someone would think if they walked into the room <laughs> anyway uh if you've seen my other videos maybe i'll throw a link up there at the end of the video you can take a really good look at what i got going on but uh, it is what it is. So anyway, I'm fighting temperatures. Uh, I'm fighting not only the, the, the temperature in, in the room up here during the day, I'm also fighting the temperature that all of those or a lot of those, let's even say half down are getting double heat because they're pulling all this heat and then getting, you know, that, that their own heat plus. So it's, it's tougher to deal with that. And, uh, it's just what I got to deal with. You know, I'd love to see in the comments down below if you have any other suggestions, maybe adding that extra fan. <clears throat> it would be a little bit of a challenge uh, to do that. I'm not even sure how I'd have to do it. I'd have to redo my window vent area. Uh, it'd be a little bit of a, a, a chore to do. But now that I'm getting into summer, and literally we are just starting summer, and it is hot. Yesterday it was, I think, 96 degrees. And, uh, you know, upstairs here, we let it get up to about 76 during the day. So it, it, it gets warm up here. Anyway, uh, that's my settings for my 3060s. Probably already jumped ahead in the video trying to find one of my 3060s. <laughs> I'm just rambling on. This is the million dollar Ra Raven coin mining rig. <laughs> and it's not mining Raven coin. Unfortunately, it is just mining Ethereum. But again, I'm using two miners. So I'm getting paid out in, in uh, Bitcoin. I think it's easier that way. Uh, with uh, trading or swapping, my opinion. And uh, <clears throat> if you don't always trade it or swap it for something, uh, or I'm not using it to pay the power bill, uh, just sitting on a little extra Bitcoin, not financial advice, you know, like I always say, do what's best for your pocket or pocketbook, but sitting on a little Bitcoin, you never know where it's gonna go. So uh, <clears throat> not like I'm sitting on a lot of Bitcoin, but anyway, that's the uh, 3060 Ti, and that's my settings. Now these should be all running at about 60 59 to 60 the other one should be 49 to uh to 50 uh these should be for, uh, 59 to 60 unfortunately again now i do have some problem cards in here this one right here um you know it is running a little warmer and uh this one right here is running a little down and it's running a lot warmer and that's with the ac the way it is today down a little bit because uh i'm here but um you know even though i've lowered it down a little bit i'm you know, just to try to bring that temperature down just a degree or two, it obviously affects the uh, mega hash a lot. So I'm losing, you know, three and a half right here on this one card. I'm losing another, you know, two and a half on this card right here. Uh, and they just run hot in this rig. The other ones aren't as bad. Um, I don't have them in the board in the direction that they're all lined up. I had some trouble with it and I was swapping them. So I would like to do that. That's a little OCD, but put it in line. Uh, so, um, you know, they are in order from, uh, you know, left to right or right to left, depending on which way the uh, the rigs are facing in there. So whatever. 
but anyway, uh, that's that. So anyway, that's really what I got going on. I was going to look at the, uh, <clears throat> you know, just for quick reference, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, 18, uh, 16 right now. The other day it was down to 1724, 1726, something like that. Uh, if we hop over there really quick, we look at seven days. Uh, you can see down here it did drop that day, uh, 1793. Where was it? Yeah, I guess it was that day. So, uh, 1793. Yeah, um, 1798. So, you know, uh, it did jump up and everybody got excited. Uh, profitability obviously went up a little bit with that. And then it just dropped again. So, anyway, just for reference, uh, I thought I'd bring this up. And then we're going to look over here. One thing, really, uh, mining uh, pool stats. If you haven't used the site, pretty cool, pretty easy to use. Uh, you just simply go to theirs and you choose what uh, you want to mine. And then it tells you all the pools. I'm sure everybody's used this a bazillion times. I'm using two miners. Again, they pay out in Bitcoin uh, if you want. And, um, and there's less fees because of that. Uh, and that's huge. Uh, or they, they, they aren't charging fees. I don't think they're charging fees right now. Uh, no payout fees right now um, uh, if you get paid out in Bitcoin. So that's really nice. Now, the other pools, there are fees on that. So yeah, some of these other pools may seem better, but overall, I'm not getting charged those fees and I feel it's better uh, for me, you know. Uh, Ethermine, obviously the king, always out there. Uh, pool, and I use that for my ASICs, but uh, Hive, I use Hive, but I don't mine on Hive. Uh, I've been using two miners, so uh, nonetheless, uh, it lets me choose my payout, what I have, what I want, and then also, like I said, pays out in Bitcoin, which I think is easier and cheaper if I want to swap it for any other coins. Fees are a little bit lower than Ethereum, so that works out for me too because, uh, you know, I use some of this money to pay my electric bill. There's no question about that, but... Um, I also use, um, I also like to uh, buy some other coins and speculation, you know, maybe I throw a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there, you know, just, just for fun, just to see, you know, uh, prices up and down, take some chances, uh, maybe a couple bucks a month I throw around, you know, just to see where something might go. And, uh, and you never know, but that's, again, that's just me fooling around with it. For the most part, um, I use it to, uh, to pay my electric bill. And with the ASICs running downstairs and not being very profitable, uh, this rig uh, or this grow tent, I should say, is really supporting a lot of the operation. So I'm not looking to necessarily make money every month. I am looking to, um, you know, have a little fun. And that's what I'm doing with it. So anyway, y'all, that's what I'm doing right now with my miners. That's what I got for my overclock settings. Uh, you know, definitely uh, copying my settings aren't going to necessarily help you because my temperatures are a little crazier than yours. Uh, if you have yours open air and you have it under good air all day, uh, you're definitely going you know, to probably be doing better than I am. But, um, but that's what I got. So, uh, in, in, uh, behind me, I do have a server case and I've been wanting to fire that thing up. Unfortunately, the power supply that was in it was so loud. It was like that Z11, that one that I swapped was so loud and crazy uh, i just i just turned it off i plugged it in i turned it off because it immediately was just uh blasting so i gotta order another um uh power supply for that and i'm gonna order the same one that i have downstairs uh for the uh, z uh the z11 it's uh, i believe it's 1800 watts and it runs real quiet and it's running about 1300 watts down there on uh, 1350 or so around that number for that Z11 and it runs quiet. So I know that if I am pulling, you know, now I know that these numbers aren't exactly right. They're different at the wall, but you know, even if I pull 1300 Watts or 1200 Watts, whatever it might be at the wall, I know that power supply is going to run a lot quieter. So I'm looking forward to getting that. I'm going to order that probably today, take a couple days, and then I'm going to try the switch. Now those, um, 3060 TIs run the hottest out of the whole bunch. So it's those that I'm going to be putting in here and trying to cool them down a little bit better. Uh, I may put in a little bit more venting behind the grow tent, maybe put just a little bit so uh, those can really suck in a lot of that cool air uh, and cool this rig down even more. And then perhaps uh, I can push some of these cards a little higher. Maybe the real option, because I'll tell you what, some of these are 59, 59. Like I said, this should be 59 to 60, 57, 59, 60. That's that Samsung. Everything else is Hynix in here, don't forget. Uh, and on the opposite rig, everything is Samsung except for one card, which is uh, Hynix. So it's just the reverse. But So this one actually isn't running that bad considering um, 
where it's at. It should be, you know, again, three and a half year, two and a half year, but otherwise everything else is running pretty decent. Uh, really, maybe what I should do, and I'd love to see in the comments down below your opinion, and I think that I should throw this one over there because if I'm losing out on two and a half, two and a half, one and a half, you know, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, yeah, well, right, uh, eight, no, two and a half. Um, so you get the point. There's a lot more to be gained over here uh, if I should have four, you know, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14. There could be another 20 mega hash hiding in here. So I'll be honest, this might be the rig to put in there uh, to cool this down even better and really try to push these cards a little bit more to grab that 50 mega hash. If I can gain another 20 mega hash off there, I'll be at 1,040 starting from my, uh, what did I have it from before I had it on here? Uh, 1,002. And, uh, you know, that's, you know, 38 mega hash that I could potentially gain. Uh, that's almost like having another GPU just for swapping it over and doing a little more fine tuning. So, you know, um, I'm sure you're doing some fine tuning to your cards. Comments down below. I appreciate y'all checking in. If you haven't subscribed, definitely help support the channel. It's right over there. You know where that button is. And like I said, I'll probably have a video up here for you to watch after this one on uh, me fiddling around making that grow tent work. So thanks for checking in. I'll see y'all next time.